Hi, this is Ed Duclo, Tech Content Coach, South Windsor School District. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put comments into Power Teacher Pro. I'm going to be using the expectations for student learning, and you're going to be putting them in this, into a quarter. In this particular case, it will be the fourth quarter. So I go Power Teacher Pro. And I check to make sure that I'm in quarter four. I come here, I go to a score sheet. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have all the grades available to me. Again, I'm in quarter four. So at this point, what I will do is I'll click on it. And over in the toolbox, what you're going to be able to see here is I'm going to have a comments uh, icon. So I click on that. And then I'm able to come down here to the comment bank. Once it calls up all our comments, you're going to see I'm going to be able to hit the star for things that I'm going to be using. Um, in this particular case, I'm going to be doing civic expectations. So I just go ahead and I click on it and I add it. And you can see that it will come right up here. Okay. I'm going to actually go to meeting there. Oops. Get rid of that one. And bring this one back up. There we go. And then what I can do is I can get off of that and go back into this one right here. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and copy that, I could come in right here and I can fill it. And then... I could go ahead and hit comments only, and that would fill all of my uh, uh, students with that same comment, and then I can come back and tweak one or two if necessary. Okay, again, just a quick little thing. You can actually put other comments in here as well. It doesn't just have to be the expectations for student learning. Hope this has been helpful. Let me know how, how I can help you out. Have a great day.